So this whole thing takes me back to really the, the, the bonfire. That's where this all started. It's cool to think about that it all kind of started with a bunch of guys getting, getting together around a fire. You know, as I look at where we are right now, you know, we've made this record, and it was kind of based on our story. It's really a safe place for a lot of different people to contribute, a collection of people, artists, worship leaders, storytellers, writers, to tell their story of vulnerability, tragedy, and redemption, and the hope that they found in Christ, you know, and, and as we go out, we've seen it happen yep. night after night. It's been powerful, and it's a lot more exciting, you know, than playing a big festival as a rock band as audio. Hey, it's like yeah. you get to be, you get to pull the curtain back and let people see the the beautiful side of redemption that Jesus has for them. Listening to your heart for people, and I, and listening to you guys both have this deep desire to be honest, but left with the questions of where are the safe places to really be honest. Yeah, and it yeah. felt like at that campfire, that's what started to happen. Yeah. We all started to go, look, well, these are my struggles, and this is where and here's my story. We go out and we want to create an environment through music and worship, and us starting off by saying, hey, you know, we went through some things that were not pretty, you know, and that you often put your pastor or bands like us up on a pedestal, but you shouldn't because we're just normal everyday people like you who go through tough things and uh, and go through tough walks in life, you know. I think that for me is a real big theme of no hope. There is a beauty in relationship, especially when there's honesty and vulnerability. And I think that that was the biggest change in my life over the last three or four years and it happened in this room. This compulsion to, to let people know your stories matter. Yeah. You matter. God has written you in. Every one of us, because we've been created in the image of God. So if we've been written into His story, then there is hope. Yeah. And it can be known, and it's known in the person of Jesus. That's the core of no hope, and that's what makes me excited about it. You know, it's not just about me and my story. It's about all of us, you know, living out the story that God has. This overarching, capital S story, yeah. which is cool.